Hello, Buddhas! Today, I wanted to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart again. And that is why we fear, as of yesterday's video talking about fear, why do we fear good things? Hello, Buddhas! Today, I wanted to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart again. And that is why we fear, as of yesterday's video talking about fear, why do we fear good things? We are always told that good things come to those who wait. We are always told to make lemonade out of lemons. But we are also told that things are fleeting and that good things may not always be as they appear. Oh. I remember as a child, it was Halloween just the other day, I remember as a child, being told that if I got an apple in my Halloween bag, that I wasn't allowed to eat it because someone could have put razor blades in it. I have no idea where people come up with this stuff. I theoretically assume that it's entirely possible. No more kitty cameo. I assume that it's possible, but why is that something that we need to dwell on? Right? We are told if you get lemons, you need to make lemonade. Okay? Why can't we just be told that when good things happen, baby, enjoy them? Milk them, enjoy them, be grateful, be thankful, be loving, be human about it. Don't go and flaunt the good things that happen to you and other people's faces. Go, Nina, 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 you don't have the good stuff. That's not what I'm talking about. But why is it that we are taught that good things don't last, and that asking for things that are too big or too good will only get us hurt. I remember a, a point in my, my youth where I decided that I was no longer going to achieve, or to strive even to achieve, really big goals, because the disappointment from not meeting those goals would be lessened. And that was true. And it served me, and it made my life a little bit easier, but it made it so that I was achieving a heck of a lot less than I could have been. And I am now coming to terms with that, and I'm determining that I'm no longer settling for second best. I've got goals. I've got set points in my life that I have already visualized, and I have already felt, and I have already dreamed twice, and I have already been told in a, in a knowing sense that they are here and now, not only in a future version of Alex, but in a now version of Alex in order to bring them in, attract them. I know unequivocally that that is the case. And because I know those things, I'm no longer willing to settle for just being someone that's like, all right, I have my job and that'll be good and I guess I can save some money in an RSP and that will get me through retirement and then I'm gonna hope that I have children at some point with a possibly failed relationship that will provide for me in my later. Why the hell would that be the goal that I would want for myself? If that's what you've achieved and you're happy with that, bravo, well done. You achieved your goal, make a new one and do something interesting with your life. It's not over yet, okay? Move on, get over yourself. But why would I set the bar so low right out the gate? We are programmed and trained not to want to have the big, beautiful stuff. The big mansion over yonder in the Hollywood Hills is for all those Hollywood douchebags. Now, there's a lot of crazy stuff that goes along over there, so maybe that was a bad example specifically. But my point being is we just immediately diminish all that fancy, nice stuff because we feel like we're not worthy of it and that even wanting to achieve something like that would be doing ourselves a disservice. 
Whereas in the truth is the complete it's the complete opposite. We are here to achieve our greatest ambitions and our greatest desires. So I'm trying to encourage you guys. Let me know down in the comments below. What are your dreams? What are you trying to build with your life? And screw the haters, right? This is not their life, it's your life. So stop thinking about getting all these lemons. Stop thinking about, oh, if I just keep my head down, maybe everything will be okay and I can get my measly paycheck. Again, if that's all you want, you're probably not watching these videos. But if that's your base point and you want to achieve some real impact in this world and to actually change the lives of people around you, then why are you holding yourself back? And I'm suddenly realizing that all I'm doing here in all of these videos, and it's come to a culmination in this one, and it's not going to change anything, is that I'm talking to myself. Because if you've made it this far in this video, maybe you're ready to hear the fact that we are all reflections of each other. So my world is centered around me. Sneak preview of some content to come. Your world is centered around you. So stop giving a rip what all the haters think about all the things that they don't want you to achieve because they're jealous or they have decided that their dreams aren't even worth pursuing. Yada, 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 boring, 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 okay? Start to categorically decide what it is you're gonna to contribute to this world and bring it in. And for me, that is making increasingly better and better YouTube content every single day. And that is photography. And that is talking about the things that I know to be truths in my world. And no longer, not it's not that I don't care about what other people's opinions are, it's just that I really don't care what other people's opinions are. So. What I'd love from you guys is for you to do the same, right? And if you feel obliged to share that in the comments, please, 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 please do. Because that will be a way of affirming it to yourself by making that physical action that yes, this is something that's happening in my world and I'm not just gonna settle for good enough, okay? Also, it helps out my channel analytics, but that's besides the point. This channel is going places regardless of how many comments we get or do not get. So, before I get on to too much of a crazy little tangent, we're gonna wrap that one up. And Buddhas, remember, remember, the most important thing in the world is to love.